absolutely love showcasing inspiring kids on this show. And my next guest is one very impressive young lady. At only 13 years old, she's already been, listen to this, the CEO of her own company for nine years. And she was recently named one of Time Magazine's most influential teens. She's incredible. Please welcome the founder of Me and the Bees Lemonade, Kid Venter, Michaela Omer. Hi, Michaela. Hello. It is so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell everybody about your company, Me and the Bees. Yeah, so I started Me and the Bees Lemonade when I was four years old to help save the bees and encourage other kids to start their own companies like I did. And so I sweeten it with honey, and I also donate a portion to organizations working hard to help save the bees um, because that's like all about what I do and that's my mission. So it's like currently sold nationwide in Whole Foods <laughs> and Wegmans and we are like still working to grow the company even more. What planet are you from? <laughs> well, I'm from Austin, Texas, which I'm not even sure if it's a planet, but you, I like you it a lot. You are incredible. And I saw that picture of you with the beekeeping outfit on. Yes. Are you scared to be around those bees? Well, I definitely was because when I started, I got stung by two bees in oh. one week and I was so afraid of them that my parents actually encouraged me to do some research on them. And doing that research, I found out how important pollinators that they were and that they were dying. Okay. And I decided to create a business to help save them by sweetening um, my lemonade with local honey and also donating a portion um, of my proceeds. So I definitely was terrified of them. Um, and not only bees, but butterflies and anything that looked like a bee as well. <laughs> but now I'm, I am so passionate about the bees and actually want um, to show other kids how important that they are. It's terrific. And what do you think your biggest challenges are as a CEO? Oh, hard to choose. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> one of mine is that I'm a kid. I'm 13 years old. And it's hard to get investors or people to um, carry my product um, because they're like, what? Like, she's 13 years old. How can uh, be, she How do you take far? you seriously, exactly. right? Um, so that's one of my challenges. And another one is um, balancing having my own company, being a student, because I'm not homeschooled, and um, also like being a regular kid and having sleepovers and things like that. I mean, that. Yeah, I mean seriously, how do you, you're a CEO of a company, yeah. and then your girlfriend <laughs> wants you to come over and watch Vampire Diaries. It's like, oh, sorry, nope, gotta go on the Harry Show. Maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> And on top, of, on top of all of that, if that weren't enough, you started a nonprofit organization. Exactly. Tell us about that. So this is actually pretty new, but I started a company called the Healthy High Foundation to help save the bees. So what we do is we try to preserve um, the environments that the bees are in. We try to educate families about the bees. And we also try to like fund um, important honeybee research to help save them. So those are the main parts, and we've been Going, like we went to South Africa to teach girls about the importance of bees and how we can help save them. And we're also trying to see where other companies can like donate a portion of land just for the bees. Incredible. Yeah, and so we're also trying to um, encourage other kids to start their own companies, be entrepreneurs, or follow their dreams. I, I love it, and it's so, so important for us to have you on the show today, not only because you're an incredible young woman, but y you are proving by your mere existence that you can do anything you want to do. And it's a testament to your parents for believing in you too. It, it's, it's an incredible thing to watch. 